So this was a weird benefit of when I went high fat on my carnivore diet. For me, it was a high fat carnivore diet to try and get my fasting insulin under control. And I accidentally corrected a 30 year old problem. Hey, it was Shake and Bacon. I hope you're doing well. So I'd appreciate it if you could give a like, comment, or subscribe with the video. That'd mean a lot to me. Thanks. So to the topic at hand, I put on a lot of weight doing a carnivore diet when I turned high fat. I initially put on 30 pounds, almost 30 pounds, the first time I went 80-20 for small meals a day. And then I lost that and a little bit more, about another 10 pounds. But I also lost a lot of lean mass doing that. But I was trying to get below 300 pounds and I only got four pounds away. So it was pretty good. More than that, it bothered me that I lost lean mass doing that because you will lose lean mass when you lose weight, especially on a low protein diet. I went to a 90 10 ratio, not so much to lose weight. That's the side effect. I was trying to heal my body because I found out I still had high fasting insulin. So I've done a lot of different things to try and manage my high fasting insulin. And this was something I hadn't tried yet. So I wanted to give it a fair shot. Now I got that information from Dr. Bright's videos online. She's a naturopath who works out of Italy. She has a lot of experience with thyroid and exhausted adrenals. I have a history of both. So I thought, you know what? And I did it for two solid months. I think I was eating too much, to be honest, in the first month. And I put on well over 40, 45 pounds. It was quite a bit, but it took about six, almost seven weeks. It actually took seven weeks before I started to drop that weight. And I dropped at least 25 pounds of that. And I leveled off in the high 320s. I was flushing out some uric acid kidney stones. I felt great doing high fat, but I had put on weight. And what bothered me about that, because I wasn't worried, I, I knew the weight would come off, so I wasn't too worried. But the thing you have to keep in mind is, along with that weight gain, my blood pressure went up, my heart rate went up. Even though by the last month of it, my calories were, my food intake was at a level spot and I was doing pretty good. The goal, you have to keep in mind, there's nutrition to try and fuel your body to accomplish certain things like weight gain or weight loss. And then there's playing with your macros to try and heal your body. Now, often if you do one, it can have a positive effect on the other, but sometimes you have to work more towards healing or nutrition. Even though I was eating in a way that wasn't great for lean mass gains, here's the one weird side effect that seemed to make a huge difference going 90-10 with my fat to my protein ratio. So Dr. Bright was right in the way that it fixed some adrenal gland problems I've had because allergies have typically been linked to adrenal gland fatigue. And looking back when I developed my allergies, there were two triggers I definitely had at the time. I was working like 80 to 90 hours a week. I was a teenager and just spent my whole summer working multiple jobs. And the other thing was I was exposed to mold. And so that's where I developed my allergies. But you know what? It took a long time for that to be an issue for me. It was my friend's basement and I was there every now and then. And I didn't find out till years later there was mold in it. I smelled it, but I just assumed that was that musty smell was a dog because I didn't grow up with a dog. But I know sometimes when you have hairy dogs, the house can have a dog smell to it. And I thought, OK, well, I didn't think too much about it. And that was specifically when I developed my allergies one time when I was hanging out in their basement. And my allergies are virtually gone now. I mean, virtually gone. They're down to two. I had two, maybe two and a half bad days. And even then, my bad days aren't nearly as bad as they used to be 25 years ago. I've had allergies for almost 30 years solid. And it wasn't until about 20 years ago I started managing them with vitamin C. And that was fine. It worked well. I started managing high dose vitamin C frequently throughout the day during my allergy seasons. And it seemed to make an impact for the positive on my allergies. The downside was you always had to keep vitamin C on you because it's not like it worked like a 24 hour allergy pill. So I had to take it pretty much every two hours. My allergies were so bad, but I got to the point where it started to get better and better. I started taking a product, an adrenal gland support product, and that got better. It's called Adreno Mend. And that got my allergies down from a four to six week window down to like a seven to 10 day window. And I was always pretty impressed. The last three or four years, that's what I've been dealing with. Maybe even five years, that's what I've been dealing with. Only a seven to 10 day window of my allergies. And they still weren't quite as bad as the old four to six weeks as far as the intensity went. Well, when I went 90-10 fat to protein ratio, yeah, I put on weight. That was a bummer. It's coming off. But the thing that really surprised me was my allergies were such a short window of time this year. And I think I'm going to do that again next year because it did have a positive effect the way Dr. Bright said it would. It helped my adrenal gland. It helped heal some problem that has been done to my body decades ago. And it shows in the results. 
and I was doing nothing else different. I've been eating carnivore strict for two and a half years. I've been doing zero carb and carnivore on and off through the years. And even when I went zero carb years ago in 2013 and 14, I still dealt with my allergies that time. It was no different than it was any other year, but the high fat did make a difference. So you got to keep in mind, sometimes when you're trying to do something new on a carnivore diet or your lifestyle, and you're not getting the positive effects you want in one area of your life, even though the goal of that was to manage my fasting insulin, which didn't really work too well overall. I still had progress in a completely unrelated area that I didn't expect to get any relief from. I thought something like that would take years of doing, and instead it really took two months. And I'm happy about that for this awesome side effect. Living with allergies sucks. Now I still have allergies, but my allergies on a scale of one to 10 are like a one, maybe a two. I blow my nose half a dozen times a day right now. It's very easily managed. I don't have to take anything for my allergies right now. For me, once my nose starts running, my eyes will get itchy if I let it go on too long and I'll start going into sneezing fits. I've barely had any sneezing fits and my allergies don't get too bad. My eyes still water quite a bit, but nothing compared to what they normally do. So as far as the constant sneezing and runny nose and itchy throat and itchy eyes goes, it's virtually non-existent, it's really nice. So after all these years, there was a huge benefit to doing a high fat carnivore diet, and I mean a really high fat carnivore diet, even though it complicated some other issues. For me, I'm really happy with those results because those other issues are gonna get managed anyway. So the big takeaway I want you to remember, I want you to keep in mind is, just because you're doing something and you're not getting the results you want, you have to acknowledge all your other non-scale victories or other victories that you're getting in other areas. So if you're trying to go for multiple small meals a day or just one meal a day, you can create a discipline with that that might start rippling out to other areas of your life. And at that point, when it starts affecting other areas, they get better and then it ripples out even further in your life. I had that happen to me once when I was a kid. I'll explain it more in another video sometime. And a positive effect in one area of your life that sometimes is unexpected can have a ripple effect. And that ripple effect can have more ripple effects. So you gotta pay attention to everything and don't get hyper-focused on your goal of what you're trying to accomplish when you've maybe not accomplished that one goal, but you've had one or two or maybe a half dozen other goals because of that challenge you've given yourself. You always have to give yourself challenges. For some people, it's getting up at the same time every day. Maybe that's your challenge. For me, it was a high fat carnivore diet to try and get my fasting insulin under control and I accidentally corrected a 30 year old problem. Anyway, thanks a lot. I hope you're doing well. Take care of what I said before. Like, comment, subscribe, and